Good day, good day royal fans, today's news. Almost a year on from his death, a memorial was held in remembrance of the late Duke of Edinburgh. The memorial service was held at Westminster Abbey. The royal family were in attendance, but one family member was notably absent, Prince Harry, who now resides in the US with his wife Meghan and their two children Archie and Lilibet. His failure to attend the memorial service has been widely criticised and was discussed by royal biographer Angela Levin, who appeared on GB News. Miss Levin said he only had to come from the airport and to go to where his grandmother was and be taken there. It's a disgrace actually. Neither the Duke nor the Duchess of Sussex released any statement ahead of the memorial service. Despite no statement being released, the reason noted for his absence was down to security concerns. Miss Levin, speaking on the reason, said, You saw royals from Europe and beyond, and yet he felt he wouldn't be safe. It's absolute nonsense. Eamon Holmes pointed out that he could have bought his own security, although not armed, or he could have used his father's or brother's security. He noted that Prince Charles and Prince William were reportedly very happy to embrace him. Miss Levin concluded by calling the decision not to attend the memorial a deliberate slight against the family. The Duke of Sussex is in a dispute with the British government over security concerns and has in the past stated his fears. Harry has previously said that it would be unsafe for him and his family to return to the UK without having police protection officers in attendance. Speaking on Sky News after the memorial, journalist Alistair Bruce described the security surrounding the memorial service as incredible. Mr Edwards told Kay Burley that Prince Harry should be here. He went on to say how he should be there, whether he brings his wife or not, it doesn't matter. Despite past fears that she may not attend due to ongoing health problems, the Queen arrived, accompanied by her and the Duke's second son, Prince Andrew. The 95-year-old monarch only confirmed her attendance at the service of Thanksgiving shortly before it commenced. That's it for today guys, thank you for watching, thank you for your support and goodbye for now.